Four sheriff's deputies on the wrong side of the law. Jave Marie Jackson facing murder charges. Clayton County Police say that she shot and killed a man in Jonesboro last week. Fox News Deidre Dukes live for us at the Clayton County headquarters with the details. Deidre? Yeah, we learned that the former Rockdale County Sheriff's deputy was under investigation when she resigned last month. Police say she shot and killed a man just days later. I heard like one shot. Gregory Taylor heard gunfire, but didn't realize someone had just been shot just steps from his front door. I didn't know anything else until a bunch of cops was out here asking questions, going door to door. The Rockdale County Sheriff's Office posted this photo of Deva Marie Jackson on their Facebook page in 2019, recognizing her as Employee of the Month. Now she's behind bars at the Clayton County Jail, charged with killing a man at this residence on South Lake Cove Court in Jonesboro, June 4th. According to the police report, Jackson and victim Terrell Rashad Douglas were outside arguing. A witness told investigators she closed the door when she saw the suspect pull out a gun. When she came back outside, Douglas was laying down on the ground shot, and the suspect called 911 while applying pressure to his wound. The Rockdale County Sheriff's Office tells Fox 5 the former deputy was hired in October of 2015. They say Jackson resigned in lieu of termination on May 31st of this year. At the time of her resignation, she was under investigation by the agency's Office of Professional Standards for employee misconduct. Police arrested Jackson June 6th. No one entered the door at her Stockbridge residence Monday. Neighbor Devin Harper shared these surveillance images of officers outside Jackson's apartment. She said she often heard Jackson and a man arguing. I could hear disturbances in that apartment because the walls are very thin. So there were several occasions where I would be in my bedroom and I could hear shouting or screaming coming from that next, I guess, the, the next wall over. Now, police have not provided any information as to the relationship between the suspect and victim. They have also not discussed a possible motive in the case. That's the latest here in Jonesboro. Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. Deidre, thanks.